good. No, let's play. is running through the pipe that's a lot of water fantastic now let's make the water shiny put some glitter on the color when it's still wet that's right now are you ready to blow Ta -da! oh look look there's water in the bowl now how exciting! Okay, now that we have a bowl of water, what else do we need? I know, I know! We need some fish! 
let's draw some fish. It's very easy. Follow me. First, you need to draw a body of the fish, and then the tail of the fish, and then you have a little line for the fish head and the eye. Let's do all that again. Voila! We have a fish now. Let's draw another fish, shall we? So they have friends and they can swim together. Oh, they need to eat as well. So I'm drawing some seaweed for them, so they can stay healthy and keep swimming around and blowing bubbles. So let's draw some bubbles as well. How many should we draw? Four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Now let's color the fish. I use yellow for fish number one. The fish have a yellow body. I love yellow. What is your favorite color? Now let's color the tail. The fish have a yellow tail and a yellow head. Oh, I think we have a goldfish. So some glitter would make the fish looks very nice. Okay, ready to blow again? And we need to put the eyes on the fish, so the fish can see and swim. Look, the fish is swimming. Now let's color the fish number two with pink color. I color the head first, and then the body and the tail. Done. Glitter time, and then blow time, and also the eyes. Oh look, look, look! The pink fish is swimming. Where is it going? Where is it going? Oh, the fish wants some seaweed. Ah, we forgot to color our seaweed. Let's use green color, okay? Don't forget the glitter when you finish. And let's blow again. Ta-da! One last thing, the bubbles. And I want four colorful bubbles. Let's do it. First one is green. Second one is purple. Purple bubble. Purple bubble. Hmm, that sounds nice. Now yellow bubble and red bubble. Great! Now let's put everything in the fish bowl. I can't wait to see seaweed, fish, bubbles. Oh look, the fish is eating! See you next time. Today I will show you how to draw a piano. Start with a long rectangle. That's the keyboard. And now let's add a lot of keys on it. As you can see on a normal piano, we have black keys which are on top and white keys which are longer. Okay, when you finish, let's draw a bigger rectangle around it. And then half big circle on top. Inside, we add two more smaller circles and the squares between them and some buttons. And more and more buttons inside the square. It can be small squares or small circles. Do you know what are the big circles for? Those are speakers of the piano. Now let me add some keynotes for decorations. And let's do all that again.
done! Now it's coloring time! I will start with the red color for the keyboard. Remember the keyboard is around the keys, not the keys. Because like I told you, the keys are black and white. And now some orange color for the buttons on top of the speakers. And then I will use the yellow color for the background of the speakers and buttons, which is the half circle we draw before. Then more yellow color for the outside of the keyboard. Remember my friends, there are so many details on this picture, so we should use a small brush. Now I will add some more yellow color onto the buttons inside the square. And I will use some blue color for the circle buttons inside the square. Okay, now I ran out of color, so let's mix some more. Let's mix some red color with some blue color. Mix them well and we have purple. I will use this purple for the rest of the buttons in the square. And maybe use the purple color for the music note as well. Now I will make some green color by mixing yellow and blue and I will apply that on another music note. And also for the speakers. Now let's use some pink color for the last music note. If you don't have pink color, you can always mix red with white. And I will also use pink color for the background of the square. Okay, all done. Now it's glitter time. I will apply some glue on the music note, then apply some purple glitter. More glue on the green music note, and then apply some green glitter on it. Now some glue on the pink music note, and of course, pink glitter for pink color. Now, some glue on the orange color, which is the keyboard. Then we apply some orange glitter on it. Some glue on the blue buttons, and of course, blue glitter for blue color. Keep moving on with the pink buttons and we apply some pink glitter on them. Wow. Now, some glue for the yellow buttons. 
and of course yellow printer for yellow color. Now this is the important part. You apply some glue on the yellow color, but there are so many details, so be careful. And now let's apply some yellow glitter on the yellow color. And this is our electric piano. I hope you have fun with it. See you next time. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to draw a vase of flowers. So we can give our friends, teachers or parents. Now first of all, we need a vase. Something like this. We can add a heart on the neck of the vase for decoration. And below that are two big eyes. Make them gorgeous and sparkling like this. Don't forget a smile as well. On the side is another heart. And on top is some flowers and leaves. I will also draw a letter. We can say nice things in the letters when we give flowers to friends, parents and teachers. And some more decorations on the sides. Now, let's do all this again. Okay, it's now coloring time. Get your brush and colors ready. The first color I will use is yellow and that is for the vase. We can use a small brush to avoid making a mess. We can also use the yellow color for the flowers and some decorations on the sides. And then I will use some yellow glitter to apply on the flowers. Now I will make some green color from mixing yellow and blue. With this green color, I will use it for the leaves. And while the pan is still wet, I will apply some green glitters on it. Beautiful! Now the next color I will use is pink. And that is for the envelope. We can use a small brush because we have a small envelope.
Then we apply some pink glitters onto the pink envelope. And the hearts are red, so let's get some red color and apply it on with a small brush. Then we can get some red glitter and cover the red heart with the red glitters. And the next color is blue. Blue is for the neck of the vase. Blue is also for some decorations on the sides. And blue glitters, of course. <laughs> now, I will mix some red color and yellow. And now we have orange. Orange is also for the flowers. Wow! Use the small brush because the flowers are very small. That's a nice orange we made. Now let's make another one. I will mix some blue and red. Wow. Now we have purple. I will apply this new purple onto the flowers. The flowers on the sides, not the flowers in the vase. For the big flowers, you can use the bigger brush, but for the small flowers, you can use the small brush. <laughs> <laughs> 